Hey, Terry, hope you're well, man. Can you kind of take us through how this all went down with Brett? Like who reached out to who and, and how this uh, came to be? Uh, well, it was one of those, it was one of those deals where, um, you know, I've been trying for the, for the last <clears throat> couple of years, trying to get on and uh, I just kind of stuck to him and almost was like, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, it was almost like a, a deal where it was, <laughs> fleas, fleas on, <laughs> and you know I, I just kind of just kept on uh, reaching out to him, reaching out to him, calling, texting him, and um, a couple of other staff uh, guys that was on the staff. I just kind of kept doing the same thing, you know, until until I just got to respond, and um, yeah, that was it. And, and I know he didn't offer you out of high school, correct? So what's it mean that he recruited you now uh, as part of his staff? And, and what's this mean for you to be back? Um, you know, it, it was one of those deals where it was two of us coming out of high school, you know, me and Craig Alperson, you know, and Craig was one of those um, guys where he, he was already college ready size, you know, he was six, four and every bit of 200 pounds solid, you know, and, um, was already ready to, to go in and, and, and play, like I said, with, with true size already. And me, on the other hand, he uh, had talks with him coming out of high school, but um, it was one of those, he never actually set the offer out there, you know, but um, I'm, I'm actually now um, grateful that um, coach is actually giving me the opportunity now um, as a man and uh, and my alma mater at that you know, and, and just to come in and ready to get down with it. Thanks, Terry. Appreciate it, man. Hey, Terry, great to see you back here. It's really good. Uh, glad you realized your dream. What are you going to be doing? It's kind of day to day. I know it's kind of developing, but what's your, what's your thoughts about what the job is going to entail? Like mostly what's your, you know, thesis statement for you? How you doing, Bob? Hope, hope, I'm hope good. Well, with you as well. Um, yeah, thanks. But, um, my actual title is the uh, director of high school personnel and alumni relations. So um, I'm, I deal with, um, I'm dealing with a lot of uh, other recruiting in-state guys and, um, you know, just reaching out to uh, in-state coaches and building a relationship with those guys. And on top of building a relationship with alums, that's, um, that's, that's high school coaches are dealing with, uh, high school kids as far as training, um, training those kids and things like that. So um, me just reaching out to those guys and staying in contact and building a relationship with them. Long-term, what do you see yourself doing? Could you be a, could you be an assistant coach down the road? Would that be an idea? Or would you like the player personnel side maybe a little bit more? Well, um, as of right now, uh, I'm, I'm gonna take it day by day and um, let, let 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 that cons uh, consider on on down the road to see how, how far it goes from here, you know. But um, I'm just going going to uh, make my job, do my job now, and do it the best I can, you know. And just just keep stacking the days here. Last thing is it hard to leave the east side. I mean, but such a part of that place, Jerome Mater, you were. Coach of that team, how hard was it to say goodbye to those guys? Uh, it was it was pretty hard. Uh, me um, bringing the guys up at the end. Uh, um, actually, when when that was announced that um, that I had the job here, bringing the guys up and um, it was it, it was hard because of the fact that I was just named uh, um, the interim head coach there as well, and. Um, you know, some of the guys took it hard. Um, I, I got a few calls from the guys after practice once they got out of practice, and you know, but it, it was one of those deals where you know uh, it, it was the better for me, you know, better for uh, my son's life. Uh, so um, a lot of those guys understood understood it, and you know, just hopefully uh, uh, their relationship <clears throat> would stay uh, stay built with me and those guys back at home. But I don't think no one took it personally. Thanks, Terry. Great talk to you. Thank you, again. Thank you Bob. Hi, Terry. Nice to meet you. Uh, you know, you were a downstate kid, and Coach B spoke last week about the importance of Illinois getting downstate kids. Can you kind of 
hit on the importance of that as you can attest to it. I know recruiting is not your main role, but it's definitely something that you're going to be doing a little bit of. Uh, it's one of those where I'm going to, uh, like I said, just try to continue to build. Uh, I have that relationship um, with a lot of coaches back at home, just um, just off of conference play and, you know, just guys just know me around the area. So uh, just going to try to continue to build those relationships with those guys and reaching out and, you know, just staying in contact with them. And then I guess for you on a personal level, what does it just mean to be back here at Illinois, a place where you um, had a lot of success as a player and now you get to kind of start a new career path uh, kind of on the coaching side, I guess. It, it means a lot to be back, you know, uh, at my alma mater. And it's, it's, it's one of those where, uh, like I said, it, it, I was trying to get on for the longest just to help uh, me personally help the program, um, keep building the program. And, Get the program back back where it was. Uh, I think now we, we actually um, at a at a stage where the coach staff that Coach B has brought in is uh, is phenomenal, you know. And uh, we we in here building a family, you know, and and we just going from there and try try to get the guys that that that's going to come in and and help contribute to uh, to the program. Hey, Terry, I'm just curious your thoughts on the uh, facility changes. It's a little bit different since you were here. Um, I'm sure your office is a little nicer than whoever was in that chair when you were here. So, uh, you know, what are your thoughts on all the new facilities? Oh, it's great. It's great. Uh, I, I, I wish we would have had him when he was here, you know, but can't go back on the past, you know. But uh, uh, I feel like we, we're, we're at the point now with the facilities that, we able to compete facility wise um, around the nation, you know, and uh, uh, some of the guys, some of the recruits that can come in and, and see it for themselves. Uh, hopefully once this pandemic pandemic is over that uh, we, we'll have some guys to come in and actually see that our facilities are up the part where, like I said, we can, we can compete around the nation now. Uh, and since your job title has, uh, you know, alumni relations in it, I'm sure you'll be reaching out to a lot of former teammates and, and everything else. Have you any, any stories of who you've reached out to so far or, you know, any conversations you've had? Um, I, I've had a, <clears throat> I've had a few conversations with, um, with a lot of the guys that's um, up, up in the Chicago area, um, up north a little bit. Um, I had a f few conversations with some of the guys out in Cali and uh, in the Florida area that's coaching. You know, uh, uh, my thing is, is just try to reach out to many as alums that I can. That's um, that's touching kids right now. Thanks. Hey Terry, Joey Wagner with Line Eye Inquirer. Good to meet you. You said you had been trying to do this for a while now. When did you identify that you wanted to come back and and be a part of this program? Was it pretty quickly after you left, or did it take a little time? I guess how did you know, and when did you know? You no, know, it, it was one of those deals where I came. Uh, once I stopped playing um, due to injury, um, and from the NFL and from the CFL, you know, uh, I started. I wanted to get my feet my uh, feet wet into coaching back on the high school level first, just to see and uh, um, to see if that's what I really wanted to do. You know, and after two years, three years of coaching on the high school level back at my high school, it was one of those where I was like, hey, I, I feel like I, I wanna go back to the college level and, and, and give back to the college level now to the kids, uh, give them the knowledge and the um, experience that I had and wish I should have had when I was here. What knowledge or experience specifically like that you got here that you wanna pass along to other people? Like what's important for you to deliver as a message? You no, know, for for the main part, it's it's the key to uh, you know just just taking care of your body and, and, and stacking the days and taking it one by one. You know, not 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 go ahead and um, uh, uh, rushing it. You know, um, listening to the coaches more. You know, uh, actually taking serious on what what's been actually taught to you. Thanks, Terry. Appreciate it. Thank you. Hey, Terry, Colin Likas from the News Gazette. Good to meet you. Um, 
first of all, I don't know if you were part of the, the, the Zoom that happened back in December when Brent first got hired and he was talking to all the former Illini and things like that. But regardless, I'm sure you, you kind of formed impressions of him once his hiring was announced. I mean, what were your initial impressions of him when he got hired at Illinois? And, and since you've gotten to talk to him more and actually come here, how, how have those maybe changed or how have they been maybe affirmed? Uh, coach is a winner, you know, and he, he knows how to win. He's been in the Big Ten um, before, and he knows what he's going to take to get to uh, um, to that big stage, you know, and it's one of those where uh, um, even from from that from that Zoom call to um, to my interview to now that I'm in the building, it's always been the same, and that's building a family, and that I think that's big from coming from a head coach, you know, uh, um, that's the first thing you want to build. And George McDonald talked to us about this as well. And I know you, you don't have quite the same role as he does, but he, he talked about, you know, coming back here and what the emotions were like, you know, when he came back to Memorial Stadium and things like that. Have you kind of had any similar emotions like that since you, since you took this job? I know it hasn't been too long, but have you felt similar emotions? Uh, I say the first, the, the first practice when I ran out there on the field, I mean, <laughs> it was almost like I was running back out there again to play. <laughs> But uh, it's 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 definitely different, you know, and it's a different it's a different emotion feeling that that you get coming from uh, from playing to now actually standing on the sideline and watching. Thanks, Terry. Thank you. Hey, Terry. I had a one quick follow up. When we were speaking with Tony Adams a week or so ago, I kind of mentioned you coming back with you guys both being from that six one eight area. He said he grew up watching you at East St. Louis with his friends and they kind of called you Black Cat. I guess that was your nickname back then. Have you had a chance to build a relationship with him and talk about some of those experiences that you, you guys probably have? Yeah, um, I actually have, you know, and uh, uh, I, I actually have a great relationship with Tony. And <clears throat> it was one of those where uh, he called and got advice from me even when uh, on his decision on to stay or to leave you know and uh, he, he's always been that guy even sometimes when he came back home you know I, I was one of those guys where he'll call me hey hey coach can I work out with you or can, can you teach me this can you teach me that you know uh, great kid that, uh, that that's always fighting for the better of his his uh, his career you know and uh, even when I got here even when it was announced that I was coming, um, TA, he, he called me like, hey, coach, I am pumped. I'm excited. I'm like, oh, no, you can't get too pumped, man. I ain't coaching on the field. So <laughs> uh, you got to pump the brakes a little bit. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Terry, if I could get one quick follow-up. If a high school coach or recruit asks you why Illinois means so much to you or how it shaped you, I guess what would your response be to them? My home safe. It's my home school. You know, uh, every other school is on top. Why not Illinois?